Like I said, things happen for a reason. And only God knows why. He took them all together. You can hear the emotion from that valley woman who lost 10 members of her family when this flash flood swept them all away without warning. Uh, so this hit near Payson while the family was celebrating a birthday just last month and only on 3TV tonight, this relative is sharing her heartache with our Liana Enriquez. Yeah, guys, she says she's still trying to come to terms with exactly what happened, but she says that holding on to the memories of her brother is helping her get through it. We like lost half of our family. There was six grandkids. Now there's only three. Fighting back tears, Luz Carnica describes the day her world shattered, the day she lost half of her family. This happened Saturday afternoon. They called us in the evening saying they had an accident. July 15th, a massive and violent flash flood struck north of Payson without warning. We didn't really get the, the right story until the morning. And then they kept bringing bodies till from 8 in the morning. We were recognizing one by one. The roaring wall of water rushed into a popular swimming pool where the Garnica family of 14 was picnicking. Ten of them died. Luce's brother, 26-year-old Hector Miguel Garnica, his wife Maria, and their three children, Daniel, Mia, and Emily, were among the lives lost. I was able to get in contact with the um, detective, and she told me at that time, moment when I found out that they had found three bodies, one of them believed to be Maria's and the other one, the one of the little girls, which was Mia. It wouldn't be until days later that search crews would recover her brother's body, but they had to wait until DNA tests confirmed what Lou says she already knew. By Thursday morning that it was him because of a tattoo he had right here with the nickname I gave him when we were very little. It was about this. And it's the good memories, like the nickname, their childhood and high school days together, family birthdays, the day her brother became a dad, and the love he had for his wife and kids that Lou says she focuses on to help get her by. I don't think I, we have been able to process this yet, so we don't know what's, what to expect. We don't know how we're going to live without them. Now Hector Miguel was the oldest of five. Now Luz is the oldest of four. Yeah, so it's one thing for adults to struggle with the grieving process, but kids, there were right. kids who survived this, sadly. Right, and you know, she struggled with how to explain this tragedy to her own kids. And coming up at 10, we're gonna hear exactly how she did that and how her brother is still helping her. Truly heartbreaking to hear. Thank you so much, Eliana.